Hey, welcome back to episode 4 of the Portal 2 mapping series. Yay! Check out my new album. It's very cool. Uh, or you can uh, not do that. That's, that's fine as well. Anyway, we're, we're, we're going to be learning how to make the blue circle things that turn orange occasionally. <laughs> So during my absence, uh, the Portal 2 authoring tools has changed quite a bit, and when I mean changed, um, the buttons are blue now. Why? But anyway, as I said, um, we're going to be making indicator lights in this video. So as you can see, I just made a, a quick little room, we've got a man, some walls, and that's basically all you need in life. Now to create uh, indicator lights. First of all, we're going to select the texture, the correct texture, so just type in indicator, yes I can spell. You should see these two things right here. What we need is indicator lights floor, and if you want them to go on the walls, you select this one right here. Um, I don't believe it makes a difference though, but uh, usually just for simplicity I just go for the uh, indicator lights floor for the floor and indicator lights wall for the walls. So let's just grab this one. Now you might probably think, oh we just create a, a block right here and uh, yeah, well no that's not how, how things work uh, with indicator lights. We actually have to create an overlay. Now an overlay is basically like a, a texture that goes over a brush or block, whatever you want to call it. And it's this tool right here, apply overlays. You can press shift O if you like. So what we're gonna do is, right, actually, what we, <laughs> okay, so I've just created this button here. So what we're going to do is click on the floor to create an overlay. And this is what it looks like. Whoa, it's very cool. Let's just rotate that and do some cool things. What I'm actually gonna do is adjust the grid size by using the square angle brackets on your keyboard. Um, I'm gonna decrease it to about 16. And then what you can do is stretch it out by, you know, grabbing one of these things and pulling it out. And there we go, we've got a long line of um, indicator lights. Now I'm gonna select the wall version and slap it on the wall. Uh, and if you remember last episode to rotate an object, you uh, click it while it's selected and you can rotate it like that. Go down there, and there we go. Now usually after you see this line of indicator lights, we'll have like a little check mark, and it would either be a tick or a cross. Um, actually, let me just see if I can find it. I think if I type in signage, yeah, um, these ones aren't actually the right ones. What, what, uh, we need that, we need this one actually. We need that one. And what I'm gonna do is do the exact same thing. Now you might notice that this overlay is kind of having a bit of a rave party right now, but that's fine. It won't look like this in game, so just keep it like that. Now what we're gonna do is select all of these overlays and we're going to control G to group them. Then double click on all of them and name them something. So we're gonna call these indicator lights. So the next thing we're gonna need is a texture toggle entity. So remember to create an entity, just select the entity tool and click somewhere in your level, press Alt Enter or double click on it, it depends. And then type in uh, texture toggle and we want ENV texture toggle. Uh, this can go anywhere in your level, but um, I'm just gonna move it here. And then what we're gonna do is double click on this. We're gonna name it something. So I'm gonna call this indicator lights underscore T, T for texture toggle and for the target brushes we can use this sort of uh, we can use this sort of eyedropper tool and select the indicator lights hit apply then the final thing we need to do is of course add some outputs on this button so select outputs we want add and we want on pressed now we don't want the indicator lights but we do want the texture toggle then what we can do is set the texture index to one so basically what it's going to do, so these um, overlay textures have two different versions. They have two different skins basically. So skin zero is its default state, its blue state, 
and um, skin one is orange or it's activated state. So that's basically what we're going to do. So on pressed, set in texture index to one. Uh, delay before reset, that's fine. So what we're going to do is copy paste. If we do on button reset, then we're going to set it back to zero. So basically you press the button for a short amount of time, it will go orange. And then shortly afterwards, it would go back to being blue. Now, what I'm going to do is actually duplicate these. I'm also going to duplicate the texture toggle. Now, remember to duplicate something, you press shift um, and select. Basically, you select an object and you hold down your mouse and press shift and then move it around and it's duplicated uh, the exact same object. Now what I'm going to do is actually going to call this indicator lights TT1 and call this indicator lights 1 and then the target brush will be indicator lights 1 and then for this button we want is TT1 and then TT1 as well. So let's go run the map and then see if it works. Okay, so we have these two buttons. Let's push this one. There we go. You can see everything turns orange. Um, if we do the same with this one, it works. We do this, we do this, whatever. So that's how indicator lights work. You can hook it up to a door. No, I don't want to stream Portal 2 to my friends, okay? I'm recording a video Discord. Go away, please. Um, but yeah, um, this is just a quick video. Um, but yeah, in the next video, I don't really know what we're doing. It's going to be something good, hopefully. <laughs> It'll be coming out like in three months' time. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Goodbye.